I am Anil Kumar and in this series of Trigonometric Identities, I will be discussing with you what strategies to follow to prove an identity. We have two very similar questions here. Part A is square root of 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x is equal to cosecant x minus cotangent x and part B is square root of 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x just as we had earlier is equal to sin x divided by 1 plus cos x. Now we need to prove these identities. Now how will you begin proving these identities? That is what we should talk about first. Now whenever you see 1 minus cos x or 1 plus cos x the idea is to rationalize. So we know that our strategy is to rationalize, right? So the strategy here is to rationalize. Now, rationalize numerator or denominator? That is a big question. In this case, we have sin x in the numerator. We want sin x, so we should rationalize the numerator, correct? If I multiply this term by 1 plus cosine x, I may get 1 minus cos square x, which is sine square x. So I get sine in the numerator. So we should rationalize numerator in this case. Is that okay? However, in this case, cosecant is 1 over sine. Sine is in the denominator. Therefore, we should rationalize the denominator. Do you understand that part? Now, this is a very important concept to understand. Most of the trigonometric identities can be solved or proven using this technique of rationalization, provided we know how to apply it correctly. Now, let's begin. To solve these trigonometric identities, using the rationalization technique. So we can begin by using the left side. So the left side for us is, let me write this as square root of 1 minus cos x. So I'm just splitting this up over square root of 1 plus cos x. Now I've decided to rationalize denominator because what we need on the right side has sin x in the denominator cotangent is cos over sine. So we will rationalize denominator. Now rationalizing denominator means that we will multiply and divide by the conjugate of denominator that is 1 minus cos x. Is that clear? So this very first step is extremely important to understand as we move forward in proving trigonometric identities. Now, we have 1 minus cos x square root times 1 minus cos x square root. When you multiply these two, what do you get in the numerator? We get just square of this. I may write one more step, which is not really required, but just for the convenience sake, for most of my viewers, I'm writing it. So 1 minus cos x times 1 minus cos x gives me 1 minus cos x whole square over square root. In the denominator, within the square root, when I multiply 1 plus cos x and 1 minus cos x, I get 1 minus cos square x. Now, this square and square root are kind of reciprocals, not exactly though. We will not discuss that part here, but however, we could write this as 1 minus cos x, right? So the numerator becomes 1 minus cos x, square root and square. So you say power of half, half times 2 is 1. In the denominator, we get 1 minus cos square x, which is sine square x, right? This we get from the Pythagorean identity, which is cos square x plus sin square x equals to 1. So when you rearrange, 1 minus cos square x is sin square x. Perfect. Now, 
this results into 1 minus cos x divided by sin x, right? Now what we get here is 1 over sin x minus cos x over sin x, right? Which indeed is what we need. 1 over sin x is cosecant x and cos x over sin x is cotangent x. Perfect. So we got the right side and so this identity has been proven, right? Now, let's begin with the second one. Since sin x is in the numerator, we are going to rationalize the numerator. So let's start with the left side, rationalizing the numerator. So we have 1 minus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x. Rationalizing numerator means we will multiply and divide by 1 plus cos x. Conjugate of numerator, right? And that will give us, in the numerator, square root of 1 minus cos square x. And the denominator will be 1 plus cos x, correct? So when you divide, I mean multiply square root, square root, you get, for example, if I have square root of 2 times square root of 2, what do you get? You get 2, right? So that's the whole idea. Okay. Now 1 minus cos square x is sine square x, just as we got here. So we get square root of sine square x divided by 1 plus cos x. And square root of sine square x is sine x divided by 1 plus cos x, which is the right side. So easily we can prove this identity. So what you have understood in this process is that such identities can be proven using the technique of rationalization. And we should be in a position to identify which one to rationalize, right? So in this case, sin x was the key to decide. 1 minus cos x plus times 1 plus cos x gives us sin square x and that gives us the idea of rationalizing the numerator. So I hope with this you have understood a very important concept that when to rationalize and how to rationalize, right? I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions and suggestions. Thank you and all the best.